Hello guys, today I want to show you and showcase you Laravel Folio, one of the newest additions to Laravel ecosystem released at Laracon US this summer. First I will show you what it does with a few examples, then I will show you where to read more and at the end I will give my honest opinion, which to be honest will not be overwhelmingly positive, but we'll get to that. So what Folio is and what it does. So here's an example of a very simple Laravel project with these routes. For example, some routes are static pages like about us or contact us or something like that. And some of the pages are for showing the data from the database like user list or showing the data of the user. So this is how you would typically structure your routes. And in pages about, we have a simple page and in the browser, it looks like this with menu items for about contact and users and it all works. Now with Laravel Folio, you do not have to put any routes in routes web file. Laravel Folio will kind of guess that for you based on the location of your blade files and naming of those blade files. So if Laravel Folio detects that you have a file in resources, views, pages, and then about blade, then you can automatically say about in your URL and it will automatically load that blade file without any routes and without any controller. So now I have installed Laravel Folio and I can safely remove those two routes and it will still work. I refresh, it still works. About and contact static pages work without any route or without any controller. To get that up and running is very simple. You just compose a require Laravel Folio. At this point, it's still in beta, but I didn't encounter any bugs, so it's pretty stable, except for in installation, it required Laravel 10.15 specifically. So I tried to install it on a project with older Laravel 10, like Laravel 10.4, and then it threw an error. So I had to do composer update to have latest Laravel 10.x, and then Folio installed successfully then you may install Folio install to be able to customize where those blades are. By default, it's in resources views pages where Folio is looking for, but it is customizable. And then you can create pages one by one and it would be automatically detected by Folio. So this is a great tool for simple static pages like these ones. But now let's get a bit deeper. Can Folio show us the blade with some data from the database? Like for example, user list. So in the index, let's imagine we have paginated user list and we have the view and you can do, you can also skip the route, skip the controller and put that file into resources, views, pages, users, index blade by default. Then you have for each of the users in blade to show the list, to show the table. And then in the beginning of that blade file, you may have PHP code with whatever logic you have. Like in my case, this is the code. So PHP block where I get those users list. And then if we load that page with users, it successfully shows us the user list. Again, I will repeat, I commented out the route and controller isn't used at all. So all your page is just blade. So this is kind of the next level. Folio is great for simple static pages, but for simple dynamic pages with something like this, with one line, it's also great. But this is where it gets a bit weird to me personally. This is kind of philosophical theory and my personal opinion, because for years we've been teaching people MVC principles and that PHP code and logic should not be in the blade. That logic should be in controller or in some kind of service. So you need to prepare the data before showing that data in the blade file. So I've been teaching that for years on my YouTube channel and elsewhere. And now with Laravel Folio, you may kind of omit that principle and do all in blade. Yes, it is convenient, especially for simple pages, but it's a different logic than many Laravel developers were using for years. So that's why I'm a bit skeptical about this approach. But let me show you one more thing. So in the user controller, there's show method, but we can also skip that in route get here. If we have user as route model binding, we can create a blade file called resources, pages, users, user blade with brackets like this. Then it automatically detects that it's route model binding by user model. And then we automatically have the user here without any code. 
so we don't need to have that PHP block on top. Laravel route model binding will happen automatically under the hood for us. So if we click view details and have user ID one, we don't need route, we don't need controller, and we don't even need route model binding. It would be covered by Laravel Folio. And there are more features if you browse through that GitHub of Laravel Folio. You can have Folio list, you can have nested routes, you can have route parameters like this. I already showed you route model binding, but you can have multiple IDs here. Route model binding I've showed you already. You can customize the model location, you can use soft deletes, so it would require a PHP block with use function Laravel Folio. You can assign middleware. You can customize quite a lot of things. And in general, in PHP blocks, you can do whatever you want like you would do that in controller. So this is Laravel Folio. It sounds great. But now if we try to use that on a bit more complex project, see what happens. First thing I've noticed, the links to those pages, I have put that as static links. What if I want to use route naming? Again, for years I've been teaching people to use route naming because what if you want to change that URL with route name, that would still work. So you would want to have route about or route pages about or something like that. With Laravel Folio, it wouldn't work because, well, we don't have routes. We specifically avoid routes, sorry typo here, in favor of Laravel Folio, but part of using routes is actually route naming, not just URLs. So now if we try to have route about, we refresh and it would throw an error that route about not defined. What if we try route pages about, refresh, pages about also isn't detected. Maybe it will be covered in the future Folio features, but for now with Folio, you cannot use route names, which is a huge drawback for me personally. And then also if we go back here to routes web, we have user list and showing the details of the user. But what if we want to have a full CRUD with create, store, update, destroy and stuff like that, all those seven methods. Then we do need to have route, we do need to have the controller, but some of the methods of the controllers will be used, like store, like update, the backend methods which would redirect back, right? And some methods will not be present, like index could be covered and show could be covered by folio and edit and create form probably, but then the backend method would still have controller with the methods. And then it's a weird mix. So we do use folio to avoid routing, but we still have routing. And then some developers who wouldn't know about Folio, imagine a random developer coming to your team, doesn't know about Folio, look at the routes, look at the controller, and then controller is without those methods that they would have expected. So yeah, here's where we come up to my personal opinion. So in my personal opinion, Folio is great for small static projects or for parts of the project which are static. So you can use Folio not on the full Laravel project, only on some folders. So for example, for specifically those pages like about us, contact us and stuff like that, you can use Folio just for that and for everything else use Laravel, that's fine. And this is, in my opinion, its primary use case. If you try to use Laravel Folio on deeper project with more routing, it just wouldn't be a good fit in my opinion. But as with every new tool in Laravel ecosystem and elsewhere, it's a tool you may or may not use that. It's your personal preference. Laravel ecosystem, especially now with Laracon US, a lot of new tools launched. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of tools, big and small tools that Laravel ecosystem has. And it's everyone's personal preference, which of those to use. Will you use Laravel Folio? Share in the comments below. And also I advise you to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Every Thursday I send all the news, both new tutorials from this Laravel YouTube channel and Laravel Daily and everything else I see on Twitter. So if you want to find out the news first, subscribe to the newsletter, it's free. The link is in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.